so like me i bet a lot of you guys have been scrolling through instagram seeing all of these different car edits and i saw one of these videos on instagram from d2 shots and i was scrolling through the comments and a lot of people had questions on how he was doing these locked on speed ramping effects so in this video, we're going to be going over how to create this locked on stabilization effect inside of After Effects. Now, this effect works best when you're filming something and the subject that you're filming is towards the middle of the frame here. So when I was filming right here, I was trying to get this like uh, side mirror like in pretty much the center of the frame. It's pretty off, but I tried to keep it towards the middle the whole time. And then I'll go to this next clip here. I tried to keep the headlight like in the middle of the frame, as you can see. And also this effect works really well with a gimbal, but I wasn't filming with a gimbal. So if you are shooting with a gimbal, this effect is going to look a lot better. So yeah, I highly recommend using a gimbal for this effect. But for these example shots, I was not using one. So that's why the footage looks super shaky like this. Also, as you can tell, I'm in a 1080 by 1920 composition so that just makes everything vertical for like Instagram or whatever. And the first thing we want to go ahead and do for this effect is go into our tracker panel right here and hit stabilize motion. And it'll bring open this like new layer that you can edit in. So we just got this track point right here and we just want to bring it over to a good point that we want to track or stabilize. I was kind of focused on this mirror right here. So I'm going to track it onto this mirror. So find a good spot like that. The larger that you have this like second box right here, the longer it's going to take for the track time, but you're going to end up with a better like tracking result. So it kind of depends on the scene or whatever you're tracking. So I'm just going to keep it around like this, kind of see how that goes. And once you have your track point all set, then you can go over here and hit analyze forward right there. And you can see it's going frame by frame, tracking this little point that I marked right here. All right, so it took a couple minutes, but the track is finally done. So we can check it out really quick. You can kind of scroll through it, see if it did pretty good, but I think it looks decent. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is hit apply and then just hit OK to the X and Y. And now when you play your video back, you can now see that the anchor points are tracked onto that subject. So you can see the video like clip right here starts to move down. Everything looks good, but you can see that we get some like black clipping right here. So you just want to hit S on your keyboard and scale that up. And there we go. That's how you get that locked on stabilization. And then once you do that, there's a few other effects that you're going to want to add or you don't have to, but I think they add a little bit more of like a cool effect to your video. So what you can do is hit R on your keyboard and it'll bring up the rotation right here. So I'm just going to set a keyframe. So plus 20 degrees. We're going to go to the end of the clip and bring that back down to zero. So when we play this back, it kind of like rotates and maybe I'm going to change this to like negative 20. So it's like rotating on that little like anchor point that we have right there. And you can kind of move this frame around. Just hit P on your keyboard board and you can like move it to where you want it to be at so i'm just going to move it to like around here so it's kind of like more focused on the mirror like that the last effect that i'm going to add is called rsmb and we're just going to drag that into our effects here rsmb is a plugin so you will have to download that but if you do have that then just go ahead and apply it here and then once you apply it it's pretty much done you can just play that back and it's kind of hard to tell but you do get a little bit of motion blur now depends on your footage and if you guys do want this you can crank the blur amount up right here we can make it like one now you can actually kind of see the motion blur right there in the background. We can make like four to really like over exaggerate it. So now you can really see the motion blur. So yeah, just mess with that. Kind of see what looks good for your footage. I'm going to quickly do the same thing that I just did for this first clip here onto my second one. So I'll see you guys once I've done that. All right, so I just applied all those effects to the second clip here. So we can play this back and see what this looks like. So you can see that it's now locked on to both these clips here. And there we go, that looks super clean. The last thing I would recommend doing is speed ramping, but I'm not gonna go into that in this video because I would just make this video way too long. So if you guys do wanna see how to speed ramp for your videos, then I would highly recommend clicking on the video on the screen right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.